Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Today I'm going to be sharing another fall baking series recipe with you guys. I am still on pumpkins. I think after pumpkins I might move on to something else. Uh, the fall baking series will probably be one more episode, not sure yet. But today I'm going to be making these delicious pumpkin cheesecake muffins. They are so good, so easy to make, and Oh, they just smell like fall. Even though it doesn't feel like fall here in New Jersey right now, it's like 80 degrees outside. It's so weird to me. So weird. Um, but anyway, I got this recipe from the Drizzle Me Skinny web website again. I will have it linked down below. Um, I got my last recipe from her website also. So if you missed my pumpkin donuts, I will leave a little clip up, a little thing to click up here and down there. So you can go check that out. I'll also link the whole fall baking series. If you've missed any of the episodes, um, but if you want to see me make these delicious bad boys, then let's keep watching. So the first thing for this recipe you're going to do is preheat your oven to 375. To grease a 12 muffin pan, pan, I guess we can call it. Um, you could use liners if you wanted to. I just feel like we might, I don't think I have any liners anyway. So I'm just going to spray it with some Pam. Everybody has Pam or liners. So we're going to start with the cream cheese part of these pumpkin cream cheese muffins first. And you're going to need four ounces of cream cheese. So I'm just going to, this cream cheese has been left at room temperature because it's much, much easier to use uh, to beat up when it's been room temperature. So four ounces is just half of this. Oh, if I could get it open. I mean, what's better than pumpkin muffins and cheesecake, guys? I am so excited to try this recipe. I have never made this kind of recipe before, and I can't wait to try it. All right, so four ounces. This is about half. In you go. And to the cream cheese, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon. One half tablespoon of milk. So I'm just gonna guess because, I mean, who has a one half tablespooner? Not I. So that's one half. And then you need one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to mix this up until it's really smooth and creamy. Okay, let's beat this up. Mm, I love the smell of cream cheese, guys. Is that a weird thing to love the smell of? <laughs> I don't know why, I just love it. We also need one egg white. I already cracked this egg white. I was wondering, I'm like, I know I cracked an egg white. Where, what's it for and what do I need it for? And I'm mixing this up and I'm like, most of the time, cheesecake has eggs in it. <laughs> so there we, oh, now it's nice and smooth. So you could use a hand mixer or a, a stand mixer for this if you wanted to, but I mean, why get out all that when you don't need to? All right, so now that this is mixed really well, we are going to start with the muffin part. Now for the pumpkin muffin part, you are going to start by mixing together your brown sugar. You will need a quarter cup of brown sugar. When I bake with the kids, they love, love eating the brown sugar more than they love measuring it out. So, I mean, who doesn't love brown sugar? And then we will need one third cup unsweetened applesauce. Got my one third cup here. One third. We will need one egg and one cup of pumpkin. One cup, in you go. So we're gonna beat this until it's well incorporated. Mm, just smells pumpkin-y goodness in here. The smell of pumpkin, I think I mentioned this in my last pumpkin video, just reminds me of like Thanksgiving. And I truly enjoy the smell of just like canned pumpkin. Okay, so now that's mixed together. We're just gonna add our dry ingredients right into this and then mix it up. You need one cup of flour, one teaspoon baking powder. I just have a half teaspoon clean, so we're just gonna do it twice. One, two, 
You need half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. So I'm just going to measure that out in my hand because like I say in all my videos, you, can, you really can't have too much. I mean, if you love pumpkin like I do. Okay, so now we're going to mix this all up. Mm. Smells to die for. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my mess, finish, finish mixing this, and then we'll work on getting this in the muffin tins. All right, so now I'm going to get all this off. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to evenly distribute. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to even try to evenly distribute. The recipe doesn't say, like, how much to add. I'm going to try and do, like, one quarter cup in each one and see how much that gets you just to see if it's evenly spread about. I like to use a measuring spoon when I'm doing any kind of muffin or cupcake just so that you know that each muffin or cupcake is the same size so that baking time isn't ruined and especially for uh, Weight Watcher recipes you want the, um, the measurements to be exact. This might be too much. I might have to take some out. All right, so now that it's filled up, and you will have to, um, one quarter cup is too much. I had to go in here and take some out. Um, I would start with maybe measuring out like two or three tablespoons into each one instead of the quarter cup. You live and you learn. So now you will take your cheesecake filling and by the tablespoon, put it right on top. Yum. I cannot wait to try these. I can't even believe that these are three points each. Can't even believe it. And then with a toothpick, you go in here and you just swirl it about as much as you can. <laughs> I guess it just you just want to get the cream cheese, the um, the cheesecake filling throughout. Ooh. Okay, and now you put these in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes until they look delicious.